So the other day, we had Google's I.O. event, and I sat down to watch it, diligently taking notes, fully expecting to make some sort of video on the uh, main Google I.O. presentation. But as it turned out, as I watched it, and they talked about Gemini and AI for two straight hours, and I had absolutely nothing to say about it, that was just not going to happen. But strangely enough, they would have another little presentation shortly after that that was intended for developers. And in that one, they actually talked about Android. And there were some really interesting things in it. So we're going to talk about those things instead. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple of clips from this event. I may jump back and forth. I'm not sure if all of these are in the order that I want to talk about them in. But basically, what we're going to start off with is the fact that Google really is pushing for something that they're kind of referring to as adaptability. Okay, it's not just that Android phones are phones. There are phones and there are tablets, but there are also phones that turn into tablets. And then there are also Chromebooks and there is some pretty big stuff coming in terms of desktop modes just on your standard Android devices. So what they want is a world where the Android app that you make and you put into the Play Store is going to look good on a phone, a tablet, a laptop, anything. It's going to work in any sort of scenario. And to that end, they say this. An excellent app looks good across all the devices that users have, and we're making it easier for any app to move across devices out of the box, from foldables and tablets, Chromebooks. In Android 16, we're making API... Did you catch that? Something just popped up on the screen that is worth looking at. That is a desktop mode for Android. We're going to talk about that more here in just a minute, but they're going to kind of get into the nitty-gritty just a little bit about how they are making this a reality. And this is something we've talked about in a prior video, but I think that it's important to point out that it is indeed happening with Android 16. In Android 16, we're making API changes to no longer react to orientation, resizability, and aspect ratio restrictions, giving users more responsive UIs by default. So what she's saying here is that the days of having something like this Oppo Find in 5, a Z Fold, whatever it might have been, and opening this thing up and having Instagram force you to rotate it or do something weird like that, those days should be soon over. Many OEMs have built their own solutions to this where they basically force apps to be able to auto-rotate and to force apps to fill out the entire screen or whatever it might be. But this is happening now at an API level in Android 16. You cannot have, as it said here in this beginning portion, goodbye mobile only apps. Apps are going to have to scale. They are going to make you do it. All right, now we get to have a little bit of fun. So we're actually looking at the end of the Android show. This was something that they aired, that they live streamed about, or I guess I should say they premiered because it wasn't live, it was pre-recorded. But anyways, they debuted it about a week ago, before Google I.O., and this happened at the very end of it. Dieter Bone from uh, now Google, formerly of The Verge, you may know him from there, popped up on this and started talking about all of these different sort of more recent Android phones that are all really cool. And I noticed something, though. Right here in the bottom of the screen, there is this tablet-type thing sitting there, and it has a desktop mode running on it. And it does not look like the desktop mode that we've seen on Samsung devices or Moto devices or Lenovo devices or whatever. It's not something that we've seen on currently released devices, but it does look very similar to what we have seen pulled forcibly out of Android betas by the likes of Michelle Ramon from Android Central. I zoomed in on this and I tried to get some details because I thought maybe, just maybe, Dieter was cleverly hiding something in plain sight here. I went as far as tagging Dieter on threads in this post. What did you slip in there, uh, Backlon Dieter? Is that what we think it is? And luckily, we are actually mutuals on threads. And he responded and said, and said is what what you think? What is? <laughs> and I basically laid it out. Is this the Android desktop mode we've seen enabled in uh, these last Android 16 betas, and he responded with an emoji of a chick hatching from an egg, and that was pretty much all we got. But I think that that was sort of indication of like, yes, this is something new, this is something coming. And ladies and gentlemen, they showed it on stage, kind of. Back to the Google I.O. event, let's play from here. And 
We're putting your app in more places. For example, we've been collaborating with Samsung, building on the foundation of Samsung DeX to bring enhanced desktop windowing capabilities in Android 16. There it is. They just came out and finally acknowledged that they are building an enhanced desktop mode working with Samsung using the foundation, using the foundation of Samsung DeX to build their own desktop thing for Android. And this is exactly what we just saw in the corner of the screen on the Android show. Dieter did indeed uh, sneak that in there. And what blows my mind is that I made that video, I talked about it, and no publication noticed it. I did not see a single news story that pointed that out and questioned what that was. I saw several articles about that segment, but no one <laughs> noticed the tablet. So Dieter, if you see this, do I win some kind of award? Should I be rewarded with a prize for what I, uh, that I noticed what you hid there? And I guess no one else did. Anyways, here it is, guys. Taskbar at the bottom, you have your pinned applications. There you have a little app drawer that opens up, duh, an app drawer with a search thing. You have recent or currently running apps here after that line. You have your time and some system stuff up at the top of the screen. You can see that it's in a floating window. It's like a desktop UI. There's even a handle in the middle that they're actually dragging back and forth. We'll talk about that more here in just a moment. But guys, they have finally acknowledged it. The desktop mode is coming, and they do mention it is something for Android 16. Now, I do have a sneaking suspicion that just like Material 3 Expressive, uh, it might actually end up being something that comes along with maybe the first quarterly platform release. It might not be there with the stable version of Android. There's no sign of it in the QPR1 beta one. Maybe it's coming later, but it does seem as though it will be part of Android 16. And that does bring us to the last thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys. And it's something that I actually complained about in a recent video where I gave you my top five things that I don't like about folding phones. And it is the fact that so many applications just don't properly take advantage of the uh, enhanced screen real estate. You have apps that are just phone apps, but blown up a little bit bigger. And that's, I guess, better than nothing, but it's not as good as we would want it to be. And I can kind of demo what they're about to show you in an app that has already shipped it. So in that video, I complained that Gmail is just a phone app scaled up. If I rotate it, I get this dual panel view, which is actually really quite nice. But I'm like, why don't I have it in just the normal orientation? On my Pixel 9 Pro Fold, I have that, and I have it in Google Keep and several other apps. But on other Android foldable devices, it just isn't a thing. Well, luckily, some of you dropped a comment down below that said, actually, in Gmail, there's this little handle on the side of the screen. And if you grab that, you can drag it in and have a dual panel layout, where now, if I click on this email, you will see the emails here and the actual text of the email over there. That is exactly what I have been wanting. And this is going to be the strategy going forward. To make your app beautiful across devices, we're continuing to make it as easy as possible to build adaptively with new features in our Compose Adaptive Layouts library, like pane expansion. Now, obviously, they don't stick with that for very long, but that's something that they are going to be pushing. And I think that's going to make the experience on these larger screen devices a lot better. So guys, to me, those are some pretty exciting things that do appear to be coming to Android devices with Android 16 relatively soon. And it does all sort of speak to this broader strategy from Google of adaptability. I talked about from phone to tablet to Chromebook to Google XR to a pair of glasses to a headset. They truly do want your apps to work across all of these things in a sensible and adaptable way. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. How excited are you for these enhancements? I'll see you in that conversation down there, and I'll see you in the next video. But until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.